Welcome back to Daily Stories and Adventures in the second tutorial for June of the Battle for Arrakis on the Sega Mega Drive. So let's kind of start into a game now. So we're going to pick House Atreides. Um, House Atreides is blue and it is represented by the eagle. Ordos is green and it is a snake and Hakonu is the red ram. So we'll start with our tradies. Uh, select. Beginning of each game, you are uh, introduced to your mentat, who just introduces you to the house. And um, it just confirms if you want to join. So yes. Um, it tells you your name, which is Cyril. And uh, this mission is to just purge the planet of the other houses. Your first mission is to produce 1,000 credits, okay? And you need credits by building um, refinery and harvesting spice. Now each mission there is a, they will offer you advice. So what is the advice for this one? First build concrete slabs and then build a wind trap and place it upon the concrete. So like you said, you need, like I said before, you need concrete um, to stop your buildings from being damaged and the wind trap is for power. So let's proceed. So this is, that's the big map of the planet and obviously the colours indicate which houses are occupied which territory. And you, it, the, the territory you go to is just randomly selected. So now we're looking at the main part of the game. This big white thing is your cursor. And this building here is the construction yard which you're given at each game. Um, you need a construction yard to build up a building. We're in blue, House of Trades, and we just saw uh, Ordos Green Trooper come by. Okay. Down here is the radar, but as you can see it's all black. Because I haven't built a radar yet or a communications tower. Once you build one, the radar will appear. So the first thing we have to do is start building things. So we're going to select our construction yard. Now the construction yard icon comes up and the green bar tells me it's damage or health. And below that is the icon for the current build which is a concrete slab. But if I click into the construction yard, it gives me all the buildings available. One is concrete, the other is a wind trap. Now I can go ahead and build a wind trap, but I'd rather build a concrete slab for, so I can lay the wind trap down on it. We also look in here, <laughs> we see the dollar amount of the concrete, 15 credits. The power it's using, or producing here at zero and it's, it's health essentially which is 40. Also in this picture here you see a little diagram, a 3x3 three three diagram or grid which tells me the size that the concrete slab will be and it's a 2x2. Two two. The biggest building you can get is a 3x3. Three three. That's like the uh, palace. In other versions of June, like the PC version, um, you can actually build one by one concrete slabs, but in this version you just come in two by two. So we're going to select it. And we see that it costs 15 credits. The credits come down and it starts to build. Now, the green cursor tells me that the whole thing is going to be placed down on this area, but if we put it here, well, only half of it will be placed. And if you put it here, you can't put it on demand. So this part of the area, which comes up a red, won't, won't build the concrete slab. So if I press that, we see a vacant area here, where the men is. But the rest still got built. But we don't want that, so we want to build the whole thing again. So let's select it. Start to build with that blue bar, and then we can put the whole thing down. Now, um, since we've already got the construction yard highlighted, 
and we've got a building icon here, we don't have to press the A button, or we don't, we don't have to select the instruction yard every time. We can just bypass that and just select B, and I'll start building whatever there is selected. Instruction complete. Yes, sir. the trip out of the so we just kept pressing the B button and build more slab. Okay, that's enough. The next thing we need to build, and the only thing we can build is a wind trap. Wind traps cost 300 credits. They produce 100 power. It's the only thing that does produce power. Well, this is a plus 100. And then it has a shield rating of 400. It's also 2x2 two two, like the concrete slabs. Okay, so we'll select that, and it starts to build. It's going to take longer than a slab because it's cost more. It doesn't take too long. Once it's finished, uh, it'll, uh, it'll be uh, someone saying construction complete. So we put the concrete, the wind trap down. There's a little rotating blue icon here which just indicates this is house or tradies, this is your base. Uh, the other bases will be either red or green, accordingly. So we've got the wind trap, so now what next? Well, the only next thing, once we build the wind trap, more options appear. In this case, it's the refinery. The refinery is needed to harvest the spice and turn it into credits. You see it costs 400. It uses power, so that's why it's a negative here. And the shield rating for it is 900, so it's quite strong. It's a little bit bigger though than the wind trap. It's a 2x3 design. Okay, so I just might need more concrete first. I don't, I don't need more concrete, I'll just build the refinery now. That's going to take even longer than the wind trap to build. Go. We can place it there. Now what happens then is a carrier, that blue ship, comes down and uh, drops off your harvester. Now your harvester has just already gone off looking for spice. It will do this automatically every time you build a refinery. And it will look for spice if it's nearby. So it's found this spice, all the orange and red dots, and it started harvesting already. You can tell it's harvesting when there's this puff of smoke coming out of it. If I select it, you can see the health of the harvester in green. And this orange indicates how much spice it's, it's collected. Um, so it's about one third collected. If I move it over here, away from the orange, uh, from the spice, it will just stop and it won't do anything. There's no puff of smoke coming out of it. The other thing about harvesters is that they can run over troops. So I can click my harvester and just click in this direction or on the uh, troop and it will move over and run over the troop. Let's go back and do harvest. And it leaves a nasty uh, red stain on the, on the, on the sand. Now the harvester will keep harvesting until it's full of spice. Thereupon it will return to the refinery automatically and turn that spice into credits. And you'll see your credits go up. So this will collect about uh, about 600 worth, worth credits worth of spice. Now the object of this level is to collect uh, 1000. So it might need to do a couple of trips. Okay, so it's almost full of the first load. In the meantime, all my troops are just standing guard, so they're just protecting my base. So that's the harvester, and I can click one troop, and um, I can go into this black area, which hasn't been discovered yet. I need my troops to explore the area. And I've uncovered uh, another Ordos tree. So he's gone. So my harvester is now um, in the re 
refinery and it's uh, trans it's, it's, it's turning the spice into credits. So my credits are going up, but um, I'm not quite at a thousand, which is the objective of this mission. So off it goes again, and it, it just does that ad infinitum until it basically it, you run out of spice in your in the area. Okay, sometimes that can't happen if, if you take too long to finish the game. I reckon now that um, I've got enough spice. Reporting. I only need about uh, what 115 more. So I've probably got 115 now, so I can click on my harvester and then um, click the refinery to return it to the refinery. You can tell it's coming back to the refinery because this platform lights up. <laughs> there comes the harvester. And it's the credits are going up, so it's doing its job. And that is the end of the mission. We've got a thousand credits. There comes up with victory. And um, you get a little message from your Mentat. And then you get your score. In this case it's only five, it only took me seven minutes. I obtained the rank of Sand Snake. And some other stats including Spice Harvested by you, 945, and the enemy 0. Units destroyed by you, 5, the enemy 0. And structures destroyed by you or the enemy. And finally, the password for completing the mission, Diplomatic. Okay, that is first mission. Uh, see me in the next tutorial for the next mission. Alright, bye for now. See you later.